now based on the knowledge of percentages you have acquired so far how fast can you find out what is this fraction equivalent to in terms of percentages in other words I'm asking 16 point eight over eighty four equal to how many percents alright so I'm giving you four seconds for that and your time starts now your time is up the correct answer is twenty percent could you get that right as you know the usual way of converting any fraction into percentage is to multiply it with 100. Now just simplify it. First try to get rid of this decimal. So I multiply numerator by 10 and this decimal goes off. I also have to multiply the denominator by 10. Isn't it? Because the rule says if you multiply numerator and denominator by the same number it does not make any difference. So now just simply cancel out the common terms. So this first I would like to cancel this 0 here now 2 4 times is 8 2 2 times is 4 2 8 times is 16 2 4 times is 8 now you can easily spot the relationship so you can just cancel out and write 2 here isn't if you can't spot that then you can simplify it even further to get to that 2 all right now 2 10 times is 20 so the answer is 20 person this method is very good but the only problem is that that uh, it's difficult to do mentally with this method because too many steps are involved. So now let's look at the faster way of doing it. The faster way of finding the percentage equivalent of a fraction is that that you look at the denominator and you ask yourself what percentage of this denominator is this numerator. Isn't it? So you know that 10% would be 8.4. But this is more than that, so you know that the answer here is more than 10%. How much more? Let's take 20%. So double of 8.4 would be 16.8 and voila, we have the right answer. So the answer here is 20%. Are you getting the point? Now basically we just concentrated on the denominator and saw that what percentage of denominator is this numerator. Because now we are very comfortable with finding 10%, 5%, 1%, 100%. So we can easily work it out. We said that 10% is 8.4. But then this is more than that. So this answer would be more than 10%. How much more? So we took on 20%. And 20% again would be double of that, 16.8. And voila, we got that answer. And that is what we wrote down here. In this question, we got an exact answer. In other questions, we may not be able to get the exact answer. But one thing is for sure that in no time, using the quick approximation method, you can always get closer to the answer. And you can get closer and closer to and closer. It's absolutely dependent on you. You can find 10%, then 5%. If you want to go even closer, if you want to just zoom in, isn't it? you can find 1%. It's absolutely your choice. How accurate you want the answer to be, you can determine that. At a glance, you can immediately come up with an answer, which is not possible in the usual way of doing it. Now, you try to find out that 33 over 220 equal to how many persons? So, once again, look at the denominator and ask yourself, what percentage of this denominator is the numerator? So, 10% you know would be 22, but this is more than that. So therefore, we can say that our answer would be more than 10%. So now, let's take 20%. So 20% would be double of 22, that is 44. So now we have logged our target, isn't it? Now we know that come what may, this answer is between 10% and 20%. Okay, so let's try to get closer to it. Let's take 5%. 5% would be half of this, that is 11. And 11 plus 22 is 33 and yes that is what our answer is so 10% plus 5% is 15% so this is our exact answer now find out what is 64.26 over 126 in terms of percentage 
Now see the relationship between denominator and the numerator. Right. By now, you must have spotted that the numerator is almost half of the denominator, isn't it? 50 percent of 126 is 63 and the numerator is just more than that. So what we can immediately conclude from that is that, that our answer would be just more than 50 percent. Alright? But now you would say no. So I would like more accurate answer. I'll say no problem. Your wish is my command. So what do you do? Now, since you realize that the approximate value that we found out is very close to the actual value of the numerator. So we have to use a very fine yardstick. So take 1%. 1% 1 is 1.26. So add that to 50%. That is 63. So we'll get our answer, isn't it? 63 plus 1.26 is right. 64.26. So the answer is 51%. That is what we said in the first glance itself, the answer would be just more than 50%. And now we have found out the actual, the accurate answer. So do this last question and I am not going to help you at all with this. Now you must have spotted by now that the numerator is very close to the denominator. So if this thing is 100%, this would be just less than 100%. So again, you have to use that fine yardstick. Alright, so let's find 1%. 1% would be 5.2. Now just roughly subtract 5.2 from 520. So our answer would be around 515. Now 515 is more than that. So we know that we have to go even down. So let's take 2%. 2% would be 10.4, twice of that. So subtracting 10.4 from 520 would give us this exact answer, isn't it? 509.6. Thus our answer is 100 minus 2%, that is 98%. So now I'm sure you can calculate the fraction equivalent of any percentage. So suppose if you get 509.6 marks out of the total marks of 520, then you know that you got 98% in your math exam. And that is a good score.